Hello, welcome to Zanzi Oz Day. My name is Connie. Yes, today is the 5th of November. So Americans are going to the pool today. And in Australia, it's the 5th. I'm about to go to bed soon. Hopefully, when I, tomorrow afternoon, we should know who is the president, who's going to be the president of the United States of America, the 47th president of the United States of America. I have made my own prediction and I think it's going to be done to the wires. And yeah, so I'm so glad it's it's nearly the end, actually finally over. Tired of hearing. I grew up from the middle class. <laughs> Had enough of that, you know, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I may the best person who put the word forward win. But, you know, in America, it's all up to the Electoral College, up to a few states, actually. So, you know, the prediction is that I predict that Donald J. Trump will be the 47th president of the United States of America. And I've got a couple of reasons why I think Donald Trump will win. And one of them is just the voter suppression from Democrats have also have suppre suppressed their own vote. If you suppress your own base, what are you going to do? Up to today, the 5th, uh, Kamala Harris hasn't actually closed in the actually traditional uh, Democratic states that she's expected to buy now to be leading far by a huge margin now to have put those states in the back. She hasn't put any of the base in the back. And that's a problem. And we could say, say the same thing with uh, Donald Trump. Some of the states, he hasn't put them in the back as well. But when you look at the maths, you look at everything else, uh, look at how the voter suppression, some people may not go to the voters, especially the traditional American voters, black Americans that I would go and vote for Democrats, likely not to vote. If they do vote, they're going to be split between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Likely to see Donald Trump having more, the first ever Republican president elected to be, to be elected with majority, higher percentage of black people electing based on um, how many black people would vote for de Democratic versus Republican. You would likely to see a higher percentage of black voters voting for Donald J. Trump in compared to other Republican president, but not so much in compared to Democrats. Democrats will still have higher black voters, but Don Donald J. Trump will probably be uh, the first one to have higher percentage of black voters voting for him in the Republican ticket, actually breaking the history to be the first ever in a Republican side to have so much black voters voting for him in this election. That's what I think will happen. And the other voters in other states will be split. But you know what? It's all about the Electoral College with, I think, the prediction of him getting about 287, it's actually correct. I uh, Kamala Harris being about close, but not quite about 270 is also correct. But it's all about the electoral college. Yeah, hard to predict, isn't it? But based off that, I suspect, because if you don't haven't actually closed your voters, if suppress your voters to a lot of policies like immigration, black voters, You've got other groups as well, international policies you're affecting certain groups in the electoral college that would actually vote for Democrats. Then you, that's why it's like this. She hasn't actually closed in traditional voters due to her foreign policy. She is part of the presidency. So it's not like she's going to be a president and change everything. She's already a vice president. So we can, people are judging her off the current record. And you're seeing this result. So that's my prediction. I could be wrong. It's a hard one to predict for America. But I stand corrected that.
the 47th president of United States of America is going to be Donald J. Trump. Thank you, guys. Let's see if I'm wrong. Bye. Donald Trump gains 287 electoral votes, while Kamala Harris scores 251. Although it will be a close contest, Trump will be re-elected to be the 47th president, thus he will declare a clear victory. I really appreciate you folks watching.